That's right, dancing in the rain. Tasting through the day. Simeon Brown for you right here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Vibes FM 100.1, and we have him live in the studio. What are we going to do? We're going to pull this song up from top again. Let it play for a while, then we're going to introduce him to the listening public. He's there in the studio. Of course, we'll be talking about, you know, some of his productions. We'll be talking about, you know, what he's been doing over the past years. And, of course, we'll talk about that concert coming up on Main Street. So, you know, we got quite a few things to talk about this afternoon. Of course, this is our, you know, conversation segment. So he fits right in to where we are right now in the program. So let's play this one once again from top and then we're going to, you know, talk to him. Let him let you guys know what he is about. Trust me, people. downtown the traffic yeah the house cleaning the putting away only in the Caribbean it's spicy as ever you know what I mean so we got Simeon Brown in the house Simeon Brown good afternoon how are you doing good afternoon I'm, I'm blessed to be here it's, welcome it's, to it's the vibes way. welcome to the vibes you know what Definitely. I mean yeah, 101 percent we created every day from scratch you know what I mean you know it is. yeah so introduce yourself to the people I mean People know you, but for those who are listening for the first time, hearing you for the first time, just give them that introduction. Uh, this is Simeon Brown. I, I, I feel like if you listen to the music, then you get to know me almost personally. But i um, record producer, writer, singer-songwriter, uh, print broadcast journalist um, from Genie Gal 2000, uh, Car Fest 10, to now, you know, uh, you name it, uh, everyone, work with everyone, uh, very uh, objective and focused on just building communities and creating changes through music. That is who I am, nice. essentially. Well put, well put, well put. Um, well, I've known you for... This is for everybody, whether you're, whether you're a Hindu, a Muslim, a Christian. The, celebrate, the celebratory uh, and the festive seasons are observed and you know uh, enjoyed by everyone, everyone yeah. and, and that is so unique about Guyana. Right, that's, that's what that's what I love about our country. Yes, because I've been to other um, countries where they have these Muslim holidays, Hindu holidays, and and it's only the Jewish holidays. There, it's only celebrated by those people. Yeah. Whereby in Guyana, almost everyone celebrates every holiday, whether it be it Muslim, be it Diwali, be it um, you name it. Yeah, you know, Christmas Diwali. Whether it's um, I mean you've got so the much. Muslim right? is, um, you've got so many, yeah. so many um uh, activities, auspicious occasions, and so forth. Yeah, I, I I call it Caribbean Christmas, just to give a general approach or or paint a general picture. But really and truly, it is intimate to Guyana. Guyana. Nice, yeah, man. Um, so before this, what have you been doing in terms of <laughs> music? I mean, um, I, I don't know if you've got any other music out recently. Yeah. But I know I've known you to be a very, very good singer and producer, and you've been off the scene for a while. 
And what inspired you to return? Um, to be honest, I've not really been out of the scene, perhaps not in Guyana. There are a few stations that play my music. Play, I do a lot of electronic dance music. Oh. Um, I'm working on some projects for film and games in the UK. Nice. So I've been doing a lot of that, a lot of music business, um, training oh. and seminars and studies and that kind of thing. Production, as it relates to specifically dance music, I've been largely involved in that, but I've been writing so much as well. That is essentially and initially what I started doing, you know, yeah. before I even, you know, came as a, I was recognized as a singer, I was writing and producing music. Nice. So that is what I've been doing. Um, uh, I collaborated with a few artists um, just recently, I think um, almost a year ago, I collaborated with uh, Brandon Harding, who I'm singing to me commercial yeah. on a project. Um, I've been doing some work. I've got a few sounds on Vanilla's upcoming album. Yes. And I, I've been working on some extended plays for, for my own label. You know, nice. and I've got. You have a label. I've got a label. Uh, this was established in two thousand and eight, and we're in twenty twenty one. Wow. So a lot of it is not really publicized, but the work and the changes that we are causing to occur, to happen, to be enjoyed nice. through the music, nice. through the work, can definitely be seen. And I think that is why you'll find. That especially certain particular forums, Simeon Brown's name comes up. Nice, nice. Yeah. Now, let's talk about um, what you've got coming up, right? right? I know there's this concert, this huge concert that uh -huh. should be happening on Main Street. Yeah. Let's talk about that. What, what, what should we expect from you and what is that concert about? Well, I have Guyana at heart and my expression of music comes from a place where I sought refuge in music from the world as a child. And so whenever I perform, whenever I share my art, my content, uh, it'll, it'll, it's always going to be emotional and it's always going to be resonating with you. Yes. And, I, yeah. and I'm saying that for the concert coming up, I mean, this is going to be the second year we're performing at State House. I'm, I'm elated, you know, obviously yeah. I'm super excited about it, but you can expect the energy to reverberate Georgetown nice. from Main Street nice. that night. Yeah, it, could, it, couldn't be, it couldn't be more better put, you know what I mean? Yeah, trust me, you, you, you've, got, you, you've uh, certainly got the words, you've certainly, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you touched my soul musically when you, when you said that, you know, when, whenever you perform, you know, it resonates, you understand me? And I'm, I'm thinking, knowing you from, from way back, you know, and listen to your songs. And I still play the songs that I have from um, in the days of Brutal Tracks and all these things. I still play those songs, you know. Mm -hmm. um, um, so coming, going out there on, uh, it's Friday, right? On Friday, we're encouraging everybody to go out. Make sure you wear your mask. Make sure you walk with your sanitizers. Um, Senior, Simeon Brown is definitely going to be performing. If you've never heard him perform, trust me, you are going to be in awe when he performs, you know what I mean? You, you, yeah, you would be like, you never know Guyana had so much, so, <clears throat> such a talent, you know? Definitely. So it's gonna be surprising, it's gonna be, you know, breathtaking, it's gonna be energi energetic, and of course, it's gonna be entertaining. You understand me? So Certainly. make sure you go out there to, at State House on Main Street to that concert. And is there anything you have coming in terms of uh, besides the, the the album with Vanilla, uh -huh. is there anything, any other project you've got working on in terms of music, and any other collaboration, your you, or any collaboration you got in the making, or you would like to have, you know, in the future in terms of Guyanese artists or even international? Well, um, right now I'm just actually working on my second studio album, um, Synchronicity. I think you've you've got that song. That is actually the first single on on, on the album. Um, a lot of people don't know, but I'm actually a member of the Guyana Police Force. Uh, I've got a background in print and broadcast journalism, so it was only fitting that I, you know, I'm, I'm currently stationed at the Corporate Communications Unit, yes. which is run by Mark Ramatar and Stan Gavaya. Yes. Um, the work, that, that passion to serve the people and to be there and to be that kind of citizen is what I'm, is what I'm focused on. Yes. So my album um, is self-produced it's produced by my label, but I'm using everything that I'm doing on that album to really further my studies. I'm currently a student at the University of Guyana nice, as well. Nice. As, um, and so I'm using the, the production, the sale, and, and the, pros, the, the proceeds from that album to further you know, my studies in that regard. And so what you can expect is a lot more soulful music, a lot more um, 
realistic and objective um, approaches in terms of what I write because obviously I share my life with you through music but also there are aspects of what is happening in the world especially in Guyana that I would like to focus and attack so to say and so I'll be bringing that in on the next album and I've got uh, a young artist that I just signed um, for my label and I'm super excited to also share his music with the world um, we're collaborating with Sojak Worldwide, which is a distribution label that focuses on distribution for the names, Five Star Tell, etc. And so we're going to be utilizing that platform nice. to really maximize the reach wow. of what we're bringing to the world. Yeah, so that's a, that's a big step. That's a huge step. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm really, really, you know, taken aback by all these things that you're doing behind... <coughs> behind the scenes mm -hmm. you know uh, i've never known that you you've got all this happening i know but i know about the recording i know about the production but all the other stuff that you're doing even even working with the Indiana police force you know i have i i didn't know that i i am i am I'm, i've always wanted and as i've always aspired to serve and for the entirety of my life thus far i have found that i've always been put in a position to serve and so it was only fitting you know that I be a part of such an esteemed organization and I'm proud to be a part of that definitely yes. and so yes. I prosecuted so I'm doing public relations work and so I'm serving the people through the Guyana police force and that is ultimately what it is all, it is all about yes. I mean come on nice so we're gonna play one more song from from the you've given us three songs uh, you've got I think you've got synchronicity which is the first so first song on the album I think you should let the world. I mean, yes, they've right. heard that. Obviously, I think Garwin plays that a lot, and it's on rotation on iTunes, Spotify, and so forth. But this is, this is what the album is going to sound like. So I, I, I would like the. Okay, so we're gonna ask uh, Selector Marans to play Synchronicity for us. Now you know, oh you know, you know, oh you know, I, oh you 